This episode is sponsored by RPM 956. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of RM. Tonight we're gonna be installing some LED headlights and fog lights in our 2019 Ram. This episode is sponsored by RPM 956. Fred saw a video of some LED tail lights we did and some other stuff on the truck and he said hey my product's better so we're gonna find out tonight. So I've already kind of cheated I've already got the driver's side done with the headlight and the fog lights installed um, so we're gonna back the truck out and we're gonna do a comparison on the halogen versus the LEDs. We all know the LEDs brighter but I'm curious about the cutoff with the normal stock halogen bulbs or uh, headlights excuse me that a uh, Ram comes with. I didn't opt for the fancy LED ones. However, we're gonna back the truck up, see what it looks like on the garage door, and uh, go from there. First impression, all I can say is, man, these dudes are gonna be bright. And they don't look like they got too bad of a cutoff, so I'm kinda curious to see what the cutoff looks like. But uh, here's what you get right now. Just getting that one side. This is the halogen. Halogen's on the left side of the video, and the LED's on the right. Alright guys, I'm here in the driver's seat. The uh, passenger side headlight is still um, halogen. The driver's side is obviously LED, as you can tell now. Uh, I'm kind of impressed. Usually you get a whole lot of scattering with the uh, LEDs. I'm not seeing very much at all. Um, I'm actually really shocked that it's this good. So, there's a little bit. I mean, you can see right there, there's a little bit. But that is a, that's a really nice cutoff line for uh, just an LED bulb replacement. All right, we got the truck back in here. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Um, some people can say that's wrong, some people can say that's right. I don't care. This is how it worked for me. So I'm going to do this first. I'm going to get my jack. I'm going to give me a little bit of clearance over here on this this uh, passenger side. I'm just going to jack it up a little bit on the frame. Right over here. No big deal. Jack that bad boy up. Give me a little bit of more uh, arm room. And then we're going to remove we're going to remove this bolt. The uh, inner fender liner. Pretty much we're going to remove three bolts for the inner fender. Then we're going to pull this back. At that point, I can reach in there with my hand and pretty much do everything I need to do. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Good amount of room to get your hand up in here. Probably should have done the driver's side first, but it's okay. Anyway, got all these in our fender. Over, I think we can make some room, right? So that's what we did. We got some room made, and I know you can't see down there now, but. There is our fog light down here and the back side of our headlight right here. Right. What you're going to do is you're going to reach up in here and you're going to feel for this piece, this guy, right? What I'm going to do is just going to twist that guy out. It's no big deal. It just turns to the left, pops right on out. Next thing you're going to do, reach your hand back up in here. And it's, a, it's a ways in there, so you kind of got to, kind of got to, not comfortable, but... Got the headlight. Oh, still kind of warm. It's all right. I'm gonna. All right. Almost got it. There we go. All right. One good tug, and your light bulb comes out. Throw it right back in here. You gotta remember too. This is a sealed housing, 
so everything um whenever you get done you got to put this cap back on uh, which is another reason i'm kind of curious about these led lights because they get hot they uh they don't run the coolest they're great for light output but i'm really curious as to how long they will last and that's it did it all one-handed so now we gotta orientate the bulb correctly so we gotta find the hole We got all our connections together and uh, secure like they're supposed to be. Um, on some of my connections, I like to go back with electrical tape just to kind of wrap up the joint and to make sure they stay together. Uh, I'm not going to do that tonight. I'll probably do it tomorrow because it's getting a little late. But, however, uh, now we got everything in, all the bulbs and everything's inside. So, I'm going to go ahead and put our inner fender weld back together, which is pretty easy. You can do it one-handed as well. Just kind of fold everything back in there. If you're like me, try not to scratch anything because I don't like scratched up paint. But that's it. We're going to run our bolts back in there, get everything lined back up, and uh, that's going to be a wrap. I'm going to fix it, take it down the road, and make sure everything looks good. All right, guys, there you have it. That was our headlight fog light install from uh, RPM 956. And uh, these lights right here, man, they are awesome. I am super impressed with them. No lights on the dash, no flickering. We're running good. This coming week will be a test for them because it's supposed to rain all week. So it'll, uh, I'll be, I'm curious to see how they work all week in the rain. Um, if you ever had, HIDs or LEDs or anything like that, you know. Sometimes you get some, uh, sometimes you get some weird flickering and different stuff and whatnot. But uh, yeah, super excited. They look good.